All right, so let's kick this puppy off. So what's the first thing we do? We always press A and delete all. Stupid hair. First things first, let's go add a mesh, add a plane. Fairly straightforward. I'm, you can go anywhere, download a road texture. Um, however, I'm just gonna use extreme PBR combo just because it's all here. Asphalt street, mm, I want one that is single lane. Maybe this one. This HDRI looks nice, good enough. However, we're gonna make it wet. Ah, he gets. So jumping into shading mode, I'm just gonna remove the roughness map for now. Let's just move this across, shift A search, and I'm gonna add in a noise texture. That goes into there, factor goes into the roughness. Not a lot has changed, which is fine. Shift A search, we're gonna go into a color ramp, throw that puppy in there. Play with the values, I'm gonna bring down the black, bring up the white, there we go. Scale, I don't know, 10 to make it a little bit larger. And they can see how the ground is a bit wet, which is what we wanted. Got to change HDRI. There we go. That's a little bit more gloomy. Now, from this angle, it looks like there's too much water. So I am going to bring down the roughness and bring up the white value. There we go. Distortion, not going to touch. With the noise texture, I'm not going to touch anything else. Details, we can actually loosen up a little bit. Actually, no, we can't. To me, that doesn't look too bad. However, let's turn it into a road. So coming back into layout, shift A, let's add in a mesh, bezier curve, scale that puppy up, and then, I don't know, like this, there we go. Nice, gentle turn, E to extrude, and we're just kind of like manipulating the curve, which is fairly easy. Selecting our mesh, we want it to follow the curve now. So from here with the mesh, we're gonna go into modifiers, add modifier, generate array, um, we're going to change fix count to fit curve. With the curve, I've only got one curve, so it's fairly easy. We can just select that. So that is the length of the curve. Not what we exactly want, but that's fine. We're going to go into add modifier. We're going to deform and add in a curve. What do you think we do? We add in a curve. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. However, you see that this is kind of like rough as guts. So this is where we need to come in, select our curve over into the Bezier options, we increase the resolution. And now you can see that it's still butchered. However, when we select the mesh, let's go right click, tab into edit mode, right click, subdivide, 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 tab back into edit mode, and then we've got this nice gentle curve. We know that roads technically should drain really nicely. So into edit mode, I'm gonna select this section, I'm gonna go GZ, and you can see that we can lift up that one little bit. I kind of want a nice, like rounded top. So I'm gonna press now O, or even up here we can select it for proportional editing. Let's go GZ and move it up. And just move it up ever so slightly. Maybe we can even move it up a little bit more. And now the the road has an ever so slightly curve, which technically means that the road should, the water should be running off. And then sprinkle on a little bit of Botanica and uh, yeah, should be all right. Aye.